so now if you see children in the fourth period the electron has entered into the s block now s block has been completely filled now where does the electron enters into into the d subshell of the third orbit so as we have told earlier that is the innermost shell which are also called as what penultimate shell so now it begins after forest to the next electron will go into d so what it will be now it will be 3d 1 and you all know a d subshell can accommodate total of 10 electrons and what is my 21st element scandium so whose valence configuration will be 3d 1 so then simultaneously the remaining electrons will be filled up till 10 so till the 10th electron is filled the d will be d block will be continuing so and uh, now the next element is what children titanium so then it will be 3d 2 similarly d3 but here children you will see an exception here it will be water it will be d5 now there are two exceptions here one is chromium and the other is copper whose electronic configuration will not be what we all actually expect okay act as per the rule it should be not d4 but rather it will be what d5 how it will be d5 it will be written as 4s1 d5 actually it should be 4s2 d4 but instead it is what 4s1 d5 similarly copper also will be what children 4s1 d10 now the reason behind this you will be learning in your higher classes right now we'll just focus on the filling of the configurations so like this the electron filling continues till the element zinc they wherein the complete d shell will be filled ending up with the valence configuration as 4s2 3d 10 fine then after d what does the where does the next electron go to it will now enter into the p block but of the which shell of the fourth shell so now it will be d10 p 4p 1 and what is that element gallium similarly p2 p3 p4 p5 p6 ultimately what children p6 so now observe here children now after p6 what happens now the fourth uh, sh uh, shell is completely filled so now the electron will go into the next shell that is fifth shell okay now what would be my fifth shell k l m n o shell and what is that o shell designated as 5 so 5 s 1 okay so and what is this element this element is nothing but rubidium okay whose uh, atomic number is how much children 37 5s1 and thus the same thing will be repeated so filling up the uh, s uh, s orbital then entering into the d block okay children so now i hope you must have understood why we don't see these uh, d blocks in the second and the third period because as per the molars diagram the d block is starting from where children third third uh, pe uh, third pe third shell and then since it is the innermost first s will be filled up am i clear so that is why the d blocks will be observed from which period from the fourth period okay so now if let us uh, see how many electrons uh, how many elements are accommodated in each of the period so the first period has how many electrons uh, i'm sorry children how many elements two elements okay how many elements two elements then the second period has eight third period also has eight fourth period has how many now children i hope you can count now s has two d has how many 10 so 10 plus 2 12 and p will be having 6 total all together 18 then fifth period will have how many children again 18 then coming to sixth period you will see here total of 32 elements then you may have a question where are those 32 elements filled because here in the table it is only reflecting 18 columns 18 boxes isn't it so children that is why the 
now what is the next block after d block the f block now that is why since there is no place to accommodate this f block the f block elements have been placed separately at the bottom okay so if you see now this is called as what children f block elements now these f block elements are placed separately now where does that element begin uh, where does this f block uh, begins from now this f block will begin from the 50 after 57th element which lies in the third group okay which lies in the third group of the sixth period that is nothing but 57 whose atomic number is 57 called as what lanthanum am i clear so when we start we will at the bottom we will mention it as what lanthanum and we all know f block capacity is how much children 14 so now from lanthanum what comes after lanthanum after lanthanum comes cesium which will end into lutetium whose atomic number is how much children 71 okay so now if you see elements from 58 to 71 are called as lanthanide series what are they called as lanthanide series and why they are called as lanthanides because the first element of this f block will start after lanthanum am i clear children then similarly the next f block is from the seventh period and again in the seventh period from where which uh, group uh, from the uh, third group again from where children from the third group and the first element of this series is what children actinium whose atomic number is how much 89 so we will mention that actinium as well here then what comes after actinium thorium okay which will end up in laurentium whose atomic number is 103 okay children so if you see now here the elements start from where uh, rather we can say it as what 90 to mm, 89 to 103 but actually it is 90 to 103 because you all know f block has a capacity of accommodating 14 electrons and now since it begins after from actin actinium this is also called as this series is called as actinides so now you see you have two f block series one is the lanthanide series and the other is the actinides series actinide series and where did we place them we have placed them at the bottom okay children now so that's why if i count 18 plus 14 18 plus 14 it sums up to how much children 32 so the total number of electrons accommodated are how many children 32 then coming to seventh seventh period now the last element which is filled is the 118th element okay but then there is this element with 117 which has not been discovered so far uh, uh, so far okay so that has been left vacant but you have an element with atomic number 116 being discovered then similarly 115 has been left empty then we have 114 being discovered okay so these elements still have to be discovered so if you see children now these seventh period is an incomplete period so uh, so even this table has been left open to accommodate any new electrons which will be discovered in the in the coming future am i clear children okay so now observe here the first period two elements which is also called as a very short period this is what children very short period first period then second and third period have how many elements eight eight elements each so these are called as uh, short periods first period is called as very short period second and third periods are called as short periods fourth and fifth are called as long periods and fifth is uh, uh, fourth and fifth are called as long periods sixth is called as very long period or the longest period then what about seventh seventh is an incomplete period why because you see that some more elements have to be discovered i hope this you must have followed children so the rest will continue in our next class thank you